Welcome back to Blind Nation. Glad to be here once again. Want to give a shout out to all my sub stars out there. Cheryl, Brandy, Cousin Jerry, Jerry, all you guys out there. Hope you all are doing well. And on this video, we are going to be doing uh, another bully video. This one is stories of being bullied. And I'm just going to share some stories. That I got, and this is why I got my headphones on here. Um, I've got, there is an email that is provided below in the description where you can share your bully stories uh, with this same site as well as their uh, URL as well. So you can go there and uh, check out the stories as well. So I'm just going to read a, a few of these here. All right. I'm an, eighth, I'm an eighth grade girl. I was bullied from around mid fifth to sixth grade. I had a slight crush on the boy who bullied me. I only saw it as teasing and just ignored it. I also ignored my mother's warnings about the boy. By the middle of sixth grade, I was terrified of this kid. But I didn't really realize it. I still sit at his lunch table and talk to him during science, but the horrible thing was he essentially robbed me of any free will, uh, essentially robbed me of any free will that I had. I had a tiny zit on the left side of my nose. You are ugly as F. He didn't like my shirt. So he always called me a B. You're a effing idiot. Is another quote that he said to her. I bought the wrong thing for lunch. He said, why did you even get that? Hey everyone, look, she got the mac and cheese. She is effing stupid. She's going to die and the world's going to laugh. She said, I am still terrified of this boy. I've said six words to him since the beginning of seventh grade. Uh, this is of September of 2014. Now, just because I'm an optimist, I'm sharing a story only slightly relevant but will hopefully restore hope in a shattered mind. That is, that is so awesome of her to do this. A boy I like and my best friend. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I misread. A boy I like and a friend of mine were all hanging out at a school Halloween event. We were waiting to go into the haunted house. My bully and a few of his dumb friends were behind us in line. My best friend... Um, hold on here. My best friend and the boy would answer questions if he spoke to us, helping me ignore him. And at one point when he was staring at me, my crush gently judged me around the corner out of sight and then stood in front of me this proves that your real friends will always have your back no matter how bad things uh, no matter how bad things may get don't ever give up it will improve love a girl who's been there Yeah, it says, uh, love a girl who's been there. So, the moral of this story is just showing you that your real friends will support you, no matter what. No matter who it is bullying you, no matter who it is at the school, or even out of school, when you've got real friends, true friends, they will support you. 
and they will stand up for you. Now I'm going to do one more story, and then if you guys want me to do more, uh, I will. I might even turn this into a uh, weekly thing where we do a couple stories a week. So if you've been bullied or would like to share your story, uh, we will figure something out so you can contact me and share your story or whatever, okay? You can even do it on video if you wish, however you want to do it. But never let anybody bully you. Never. Just ignore it. If you ignore it, you are going to really, really hurt them even more. But if you don't ignore it, they will destroy your life. Your teenage life. Maybe even your adult life. Or, unfortunately, some people's lives have been destroyed all the way. Driving them to commit suicide. Nobody wants that. So please, if you are facing these situations in your life, someone is bullying you, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to talk to adults. You need to take action and do something about it. Because no matter who you are, no matter what you wear, no matter your color, no matter your race, you do not deserve this. All right. Here's one from Will. Hello, my name is Will. I'm a 14-year-old hiker, runner, and boy, uh, runner and boy scout. And I was boy, I was bullied as well. These bullies weren't as bad as others, but they did traumatize me. I have a s disorder called Asperger, I can't pronounce it guys, Asperger's Syndrome, a minor form of autism. I think differently from others and find it hard to be social. Since first grade I have always been known as a nerd with his nerdy friends doing nerdy things. I could have been in the cool kids sport group. Uh, I could have been in the cool kids sports. But sports wasn't really my thing. I loved video games and YouTube. I've had two very close friends who were twins. Karen, my best friend. And Tara, my second best friend. Ever since I moved to my new school in third grade, we met each other and had a close relationship. Our semi-popular group was made of six people. Me and Dylan. I loved going to school to see them. Having the whole gang come over and play Minecraft and eat pizza all night. But in sixth grade, that all changed and I was going through the change too, adulthood and found different interests I was done with Legos and Minecraft but the others weren't then one day the group just wanted to ditch me right up in my face I was heartbroken didn't know what to do and that was just the beginning the group of five started to torment me. They knew about my Asperger, Asperger's and used it to their advantage. They always played the same games I played at recess and always targeted me to get me out and find a way for me to lose. They was calling me terrible names. Some curse words like Little Miss Boy Scout jerk, stupid nerd, and so on. They stole my lunch and ran. Then they would chase me and spread sexual rumors about me throughout the school. I was driven to the point of insanity. And when I got back from school one day, I ran to my room and cried like crazy. 
My only source of friends was gone. I stayed in my room drowning in tears for what seemed like for hours. I then decided to go on to Minecraft to calm me down. I remember playing on Minecraft when when Chase logged uh, when Chase logged on, bragged about a sleepover that I wasn't invited to, and said it was my fault. I then talked with my mom. She then encouraged me to find a new group with a few kids. My new best friend named Jaden. He stood up to me when I was bullied and defended me. He invited me to play games and when Caden and his groups came to the torment me, Jaden told them to, well, S off. I finally felt good knowing that I had a real friend. I am now in 8th grade with new friends who like me and they like me for who I am. Caden and Tarek moved to a different school. Chase tried to be, uh, bully me in the beginning of, of seventh, but I got him out of the way. He now hangs out with a group of troublemakers, which is really common. I barely see Evan and I barely see Evan and Dylan admitted his wrongdoing. And we became band partners. Everything worked out good in the end. And that is my story. So, you know, I, I think one of the things here with this story, it kind of shows that things can start off bad, but they don't always have to have a bad ending. What You've got to be able to learn to just stand up and move on and, you know, Get yourself around people that don't act like that. Friends that don't act like that. Because you will find friends that will always support you and stand up for you. So that is the two stories that I did for today. If you want to see more, hit the like button. If I see a bunch of likes and stuff that people's liking this, I will do more stories. The email and the link have been pasted below in this video, okay? So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back here later, hopefully, to do some mailback video. So, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.